Hi, welcome back to my channel. This is Chris, and today I am bringing you the third process video for November using my Mini Kit Monday kit. Uh, sorry this is up late, but I was scrapbooking over the weekend at a retreat, so this is the first chance I've had to finish up the layout since I got back. So what I'm doing is taking um, a couple of the pieces of paper that I had left that were partial pieces. Um, I didn't like the other ones for a background. So what I'm doing is taking about three-fourths of a page of this stripe that had the cut-aparts on the back side. And then I'm using about one quarter of a page of uh, the, the blue stripes. And you can see here where I kind of messed up. I ended up having it fall on top of the blue stripe and I'm using score tape and this stuff is strong. I get it at Scrapbook Expo and my ATG gun was put away so it's not as forgiving so you'll see that I did rip a big hunk out of the paper but that's okay because I'm going to strategically place things over the top of it and you'll never know that I had um, ripped that paper. So right here I am cutting apart a block of the darker blue. Um, I'm going to um, use this as my matting on the page. And then I have three photos. My husband hamming it up and then um, one of him walking along uh, the beach and one of the wild horses. This is in North Carolina and on um, one of the islands that has the wild horses. It was a pretty cool experience and we went um, looking for seashells and had a great lunch and the horses are just beautifully walking around free. So um, I'm going to go ahead and have this one of my husband hamming it up with the horse behind him. And then I have below another picture of the horses just standing off in the distance. And then again, one of him, the smaller one I cut down to 4x4 four four, um, will be of uh, him walking along the beach. Now what I'm going to do is to help cover up the part that ripped in the paper, I'm going to take one of the cut aparts that were on the other half of the page, and it's a map, and I'm just going to use that for matting underneath that 4x4 four four photo. And it brings a little bit more of the lighter blue color in. And that worked out perfect now that you can't tell that it was um, there was any rip underneath. And then I'm just cutting apart the rest of these um, cut-aparts and using these as embellishments on the page. So there's one that was like a uh, beach chair that said surf and, or sun and surf. Uh, there was another one that was just coral, um, one that says summer. And now I'm going through and there's um, a like four different um, tags. I'm going to cut those down and punch the holes out of them. And I'm going to use two of those to um, put behind the 4x4 four four photo. And what I will do is kind of place them in a cluster and then I'm going to just take my tiny attacher. I have an American Crafts one and I'm just going to use that to staple them in place along with that summer tag. I end up pulling in the, uh, the second one in a moment. And I'm just going to use some of the score tape to go ahead and tape down the matting and also the 4x4 four four photo. And here's where I put that second tag behind. And I like the first tag because it said summer, um, summer and travel and the number two. And this was a trip that I took with me and my husband, so I thought the number two was perfect for this page. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take um, one of the pieces of paper that has um, a lot of shells. And I'm going to fussy cut those out in just a moment right here and I'm going to use these as embellishments. I'm not going to make you watch me cut all of them out. I'm just going to take a hunk off the top of the page, cut them apart, and then I will fussy cut all of these. So 
So here you see I just cut around the first one and there by magic they're all done. And then I'm just going to start using these as embellishments going into three different clusters. Now I move this the coral piece down and I'm actually going to make the, the clusters one to the right, one to the left, and one to the bottom. And now I'm just going to slowly sprinkle these shells around. And then I do take that coral and I, um, with the three coral pieces, I actually cut it in half and I'm going to use part of it on the left cluster and then part in the, um, the bottom right cluster. And that kind of spreads it across the page. And I'm just finding places to tuck them here and there and just um, layering things in. And I love doing this technique. I know it takes a little time to fussy cut things out, but it really is a way if you don't if you're on a limited budget, you don't have to go and buy all the embellishments that come with a collection. Just just buying a piece of paper that has a lot of elements that can be fussy cut and the cut apart sheet. I basically do all my decorating with a piece of paper. There really isn't a lot of embellishments that are used. I do pull out a Maggie Home sticker sheet and I use one or two items of that, but they weren't really necessary. Just using the cut aparts and fussy cutting was all I really needed to embellish this page. And I think it turns out pretty good, you know. Um, I, I think there's a lot of dimension and um, layering in there and a lot of elements that you would have never known that I just used a piece of paper. So now that I have all the embellishments down, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to um, go into my stash and oh, grab some twine. I'm going to put twine in the two tags. And then I will go in my stash and grab um, my enamel dots. And I do decide to take this last pink piece. I'm going to cut it in half and put one behind the picture and then one behind the blue matting and make it look like it's um, tabs just to bring some of the pink up to the top. Part of it's going to get covered up with the title, but it's just trying to bring that color apart around. So here's where I'm taking my enamel dots. These are enamel stars. I'm putting one in each of the clusters. And then I have some blue enamel dots. And like I've said before, I take the bigger ones and I try and tuck them under so that it's not a big element, but it's kind of peeking out from underneath others. So I grabbed a couple of my um, thicker sets and I decided to go with the circular pink ones. I'm trying to use up some of my stash. Um, here's the Maggie Home sticker sheet. And I just grabbed that um, flag banner that I put in the upper left hand corner and then I have the plus sign banner going underneath just as another element of black. And then here's where I'm going to put those stickers on and I'm just going to spell out Beach Bum. I find these um, circular thickers harder to use so I was happy to get these on a page trying to use my thickers up. I have a ton of them and so this is just another way of getting them incorporated on the layouts and pulling in the pink. And for the last thing I'm going to do, I'm going to um, grab some of my Heidi Swap Color Shine in Navy and I'm going to just sprinkle that in th um, the three sections of the layout. And that's going to be it for my layout. I want to thank you all for joining. And if you liked my video, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, hit the subscribe button down below. And check out all the links for the Mini Kit Monday Gals. They are very, very inspiring. And I'm having a good time just following along and participating with their group. Um, it's a great group to be with. Um, there's going to be some close-ups at the end. And thanks again for watching.